So let's use a window function in our program. And to use a window function, first of all, we have to specify a window. Sorry for that one. We have to specify a window. And therefore, as I showed you in the documentation previously, we can find it in Spark SQL and then window. So we have to import that one. So let me add this one here in the top. So it's Spark SQL, and then we want to import window so that we can use it in our code here. And now I want to add a new or declare a new variable called window. And here we use the window class. And this class has a method called partition by. And if I look this up, or I look at the reference here, it takes a list of columns or strings. So here we can have any, any expression we would like to have, any column transformation as we saw previously. So for example, I wanted to partition by the date and not only the date, but actually the extracted year of the date again. So that's quite similar to what we done with uh, group by. So we partition by the year and then within of within each of our partitions, I want to order by and here I want to order by the close price in a descending manner. And we have to add these parentheses here that what you that's what you know already. And if the close price is the same, I want to have the earlier date. So the first sorting criteria would be the close price descending and the secondary sort criteria would be the column date. And that's a window specification. And now you may be wondering how can we apply this window in to our data frame now. So as you would have guessed, we start with the data frame DF and then we want to add a new column. Therefore, we use with column for the first time. And with column, if you look at the method declaration, first of all, you have to provide the name for the new column, and then you can provide any column um, yeah, specification. So that would be a reference to a column. That's what we've been using all the time. So when we are transforming columns, we can, we can pass any kind of column into this function. And here we want to specify a new name, let's say rank. And we want to use the function row number, which we have seen in the documentation already. And this takes no parameters, as we can see here. So on the functions, window function, row number takes no parameters, and will assign a row number to each of the rows in our group. Not yet because on a window function, we have to specify uh, the window and that we do by calling the over method. So each every window function has a method called over. And within over we can um, pass in a window specification. That's what we have created here. As we look at the order by it returns a window specification. And that's what we pass into the over function. So here, now we are basically grouping, uh, partitioning and ordering our data frame with our window specification. And then over that window, we apply the window function row number. And for now, I just want to show you the result. So of course, we can call dot show here and we will see what will happen with our data frame. So as I said before, windows are a way to group or to partition and order rows without having to combine them into one single row. So here we see, for example, year 1980, until here. So there are 13 rows, they are ordered by date. So that's one group. And we see the rank. So that's our new column, which is a sequential increasing ID, um, 
with, with respect to the ordering that we have specified. And then for 1990, 1981, we see the beginning of the first couple of rows. They are ordered by uh, the close price, actually, in a descending order. And then if they are equal by an ascending order of the date. And here we can see the rank. Now, if we wanted to find the row with the highest closing price in each year, and we wanted to maintain the entire row so that we also can see the open, high and low prices, we can use our new, um, we can use our new column rank to filter now, filter. And now we wanna filter by the column. And here I'm using the column function, which will try to resolve the column name rank. And this should be one. So I'm using this rather than uh, specifying it on the DF because it, it's not present yet, because we haven't stored a reference with the new column in our DF reference. So therefore I use the column function, which will turn or try to resolve the rank column given, given the data frame. And here we say the column rank should be one. And here we say dot show. Let's try this one. So now in the result, we can see here's our rank column. And now we get one row for each of the years, which has the highest closing price. And we have basically filtered all of the other rows for that very same year. And the difference to the group by that we did previously is that we maintain the entire row. So we can also see the un unaggregated close price, open price, high price, low price, and so on. So that's how we use window functions. Now, as I said before, we can use them to actually build very powerful use cases on um, these windows. For example, the lead and lag we can use to pull values from previous or next rows into the current row. So for example, if we wanted to compare the price from yesterday with the price from today, we needed to inspect two rows and that we can do with window functions, which I'll show you in the next video.